This came from South Carolina. It came out of a truck. The radio. I think it's like an aftermarket video, if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to fix it or not, but we're going to attempt to look at some parts. On the back here, you'll see IC8, and it is ink blonde. So I'm going to have to see if I can find the part number for it. As well, D26 is gone. I don't know if D27, if it's shorted or not as well. But we will, we will figure this out here in just five seconds. So it's 400 arms. I don't know if it's because of the circuitry that's in the in that area or what. I don't know if this diode here is the same as these. So I'm gonna try to take a peek at this first and see if I can find part numbers off of it before I do anything. I was kind of hoping that it had some other chips in the area that had the same package so I can go. Oh yeah, that's that chip. And that has not been the case. Um, <laughs> it's the only chip of that package, unfortunately. I guess I can look and see if this board is available online as well. I'm not sure if I can find a board number, part number somewhere. I guess I can look that up. I'm not sure. And maybe even that. I don't know. Kind of interesting. I told him I'd work on it for him for free to see if I can get it going. I'm not sure exactly what would have caused that part to go out. That's over here. These, I gotta think, there's probably audio amplifiers of some sort. They have such a large ground piece in the center there. This has got to be a memory, a memory chip, a flash chip. You have your processor, your flash chip. I'm saying that's either memory or that's something. And what that has anything to do with that, I don't know if it does or not. It may not have anything to do with it at all. You have D4, C223, and R, whatever. R2, uh, R422. The capacitor looks pretty white. I don't know if it means that it got hot or what. No, nope, better than I'm going to like it. Some. Um, that's probably fine. I will have to take, once I get the picture of this, I'll have to take and take that chip off. I know that diode is shot. I'll have to make sure that the capacitors, the ceramic capacitors, are not also shorted. And I need to take and measure this one. It's is Q8. It looks like it's got some damage done to it. It's got a lot of heat. You see how it just colored the same way it was on these two resistors. They're highly discolored. I don't see any other like potential damage or anything. Ooh, I didn't see him. He's gotta be some type of control chip or something. Huh. Well, TC, let's just, let's just do this real quick. It's an ST. Uh, 
It's like TDA seven five six zero. That's probably not the right part number, but I don't want to bend it too much. I'll have to figure out what that is. That's got to do with probably audio as well. Let's measure this Q8. Four mag. One mag. That's good. Make sure the resistors are good. That's good. I don't know if anything else in the circuit that followed down the line, if it took a crap or not. The capacitor is not shorted, so that's a good thing. This one is showing. It's building up, so it's fine. Uh, so I know D26, D27 is the suspect. And definitely IC8 to D26. I know for sure it took a crap. It, it's cracked. I'll have to take and look at it. Okay, so for part numbers. It's kind of stuck because all three of these diodes here are different part numbers. So. It would almost have to take a picture and blow it up. It looks like it's a 50D. A 5D. I'll go with that. 5D because that's the same as D20, uh, D39. And this has got a, an F on it, so it's for now. One, five, four, something. I'll take a picture of it real quick. Look at it at this, this angle. So, the last three digits on this is 420, I believe. Could be a six. And then the first two numbers. I think that was a one. So yeah, one, five, four, two. Can't tell if that's a zero or eight or six. But I know that's the far nail part, so it's a, it says A something, so that's 1542 something, so we have that much. And it's a 4 pin, it's a 8 pin chip. Okay, so the biggest takeaway right now would be to take and make sure that we can find out where the traces are going for this chip. If it goes and feeds into these two chips, those are the motor chips those are for the uh, to drive the motor for the CD-ROM. So it might be a case of finding out what the grounds in that is and positive and making sure that those are not shorted. And if that is the case, then we probably likely will have something wrong with the motor circuit as well for the uh, city realm. I don't know where my tweezers are at. I've been working on my car and I've lost track of all my tools. So I am just going to use a tooth see if I can't just lift up on one side and move it out of the way 
hopefully not getting any choices or other small parts. I know I'm burning the, uh, tip, so. Okay. So I'm gonna let that cool because I'm moving parts around now. Let me put this part back where I had it. Okay. And I'm gonna heat up this diode and move it out of the way. Let's just all cool down just a second. I know the one leg on this one is broken off, so it's no longer accessible. It's part of the second tree. Take and go over this diode again and show him that it's building up as it's charging the capacitor. I don't think there's any filter capacitors. There is, there's two of them. I didn't realize that. So that one's fine. Let's see here. That's the ground. Let's see what this diode fees. through each pin. Two hundred and sixty eight ohms, that's not too terribly good. There's several pins that way. Could be a resistor in between, which I highly doubt. And this also may not have anything with putting the power out to this. If this is a buck boost circuit, then we'll be able to take and just replace this. Usually there's a MOSFET that's involved with things. Alright, so there's the negative. And then be pin four over here. This is a negative pin. The pin one is where it shows with a dot is.
There's this pin here that feeds this capacitor. I don't know where the diode goes. It doesn't measure around. Perhaps it feeds anything over here. And without knowing what that cause and effect is, I mean, you're just kind of blindly looking at stuff. I'm not sure where VCC would be. Maybe there's your protection diode, that's all these are here. It should read overload. And I thought there might have been a fuse, but I don't see no fuse. So. I need to take it on this guy out, make sure he's not bad. He probably has everything to do with the audio. Like an amplification. There's a connector under here. The good and bad thing about this is that this part here is obsolete and they're not using it anymore. Um, so there's that. I'm going to clean up some of the traces some more and I'll come back to this when I figure something out. Okay, digging into more of it. Um, digging more into it, I found out, I found the coil. Here's the coil on top of the board. So this circuitry here, through the, this side of the diode, feeds up to, on this side. And that all goes to this connector, whatever this connector goes. So here's the fuse. So I can take and replace that one part plus the diode. And there's no guarantee that the other is not toast as well. So I gotta message the, the guy and see what this part actually goes to and go from there. So it may take a month for this chip to come in. That's the problem with after market stuff like this. Got parts in for this guy. And we're gonna make sure that everything is soldered on correctly. Here's the diode. There's the chip itself. It's so tiny. Been a month for the parts to get in, so I don't remember direction of the diode, so I'll have to go back to the video and look real quick. That's, that's not the part for that. I'm going to start getting some parts bin. we get all these parts in and uh, not have a place to put them all.
and have all these random baggies of stuff and be like, what's this? Oh, what's that? The beauty of these diodes, they're so stinking small. I can't find my tweezers, I don't know if the wife got them. Okay, so there's the forward direction of the, the diode, there's the white line. I can't really tell. I think it was supposed to be going this direction. I believe. I'm going to take and put that on last because I got to get this, this chip put on. I also need to take and solder this one. Uh, diode here that got kind of blown off. 